inheritance. Then got a letter with some surprise. Surprise what? Is it something on the table? Whether your child enjoys arts and crafts, swimming, sports, recreation, singing, or exploring, they're sure to have a ball at Camp Emerald Lake. We know that every family has unique needs and, have, and we strive to be as flexible as possible. Daily, weekly, and monthly packages are available in both sleepover and pickup options. Our lifeguards are fully certified and every counselor is trained in a cutting edge cardio pulmonary resusc resuscitation technique. Right. Cardio pulmonary resuscitation technique. That's a mouthful. Our goal is fun, but our priority is safety. The enclosed brochure contains information on all of the exciting opportunities at Camp Emerald Lake. We're sure you'll find many things to like, and we hope to see your child soon. One out of four Tommy clues found. Your progress is saved automatically. You can quit the game at any time, and your progress will be automatically restored the next time you play. Okay, peace, see ya. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Let's keep playing. Um, there's one clue. Gonna let daddy play with the cool car tonight. Oh no, he is expecting where the house is so far apart. Explore memory. It seems like he is expecting him to play with him every night. Oops, no, not what I wanted. I already played with it. I tried to give him the rocket. What about your rocket? Already played with the rocket. You can play with things more than once. I believe there was nothing in the kitchen as well. No. I'm guessing it's in his room then, the last one. Backpack kite. He loved playing the kite. Oh, there's another picture there. Kind of have to follow the noise. Oh, there it is. Oh, why does he look sad? He looks down at the floor it, like he's disappointed. Three out of three Tommy memories found. Alright, let's head back. Leave that it's for yeah that's it. Hmm. Don't wanna spook anyone. Hmm. Is that him and a friend of his? Two out of four. Gotta be very, very caref careful. There's nothing in the kitchen. I don't think there's anything here either. Or So dangerous. What about the bathroom? Nope. Oh, there's another. Hey, mommy. Hey, pumpkin. Let's read her thoughts. Just be around people. Window, which gives an, uh, us an opportunity to explore her memories. Let's see. Is there something out there? The entire world's out there. I knew we should have eaten something with the wine last night. My head is killing me. 
It would have been worse if Dan hadn't come down to help me finish it, though. I didn't expect to see him, but he does have a way of surprising people. I wish we'd had a full night together, but maybe we can do that soon. I'm glad we got even a little time to catch up. We only got through the first side of the record, but we talked about the studio and my new painting, which was nice. It's good to know he's at least trying. Damn straight we are. We're trying to please everyone here. Except himself. Alright, that's finding all of his, her memories rather. Let's exit. We've only found two Tommy clues and that's about it. There's a letter there. I wanna read this letter. She's going upstairs. I don't believe anyone's down here. Quickly read. <laughs> Dan, I hope you're doing well. I got this address from your father. I hope it's correct. I'll get to the point. When your cousin Richard passed away last year, we discovered that his pipe business had done very well. He wasn't wealthy, but he was very comfortable. At the execution of his will, we were somewhat surprised to find that he wished to distribute his estate among all living blood relatives. He reserved the lion's share for his immediate family, as I'm sure you'll understand, but there is a portion allotted to you as well. Enclosed is a check for the full amount. I trust you will honor his memory by putting it to good use. One out of four Dan clues found. I'm pretty sure there was nothing in the kitchen. Let's check upstairs. Oh, there's Dan. I need to find out what, what's up with Dan. There's another notebook though. And there's a paper. Perhaps I should read this first. Anne, I'm going to cut right through the pleasantries and ask you, who is this Ryan that mom mentioned on the phone? Someone new? Are you trying to keep it a secret or did it just slip your mind the last time we talked? Spill it! Things here are moving along, I guess. When we came up, I thought it would be great to have more dedicated time to paint, but I didn't realize it would be so isolating. I miss having more people around and having new ideas floating about. I got lucky in town last week, though. I found an artist co-op called Makeshift, and it seems really interesting. It's not too big, but there are lots of different types of artists there. I'll probably call and try to get more details. I don't remember if I told you this, but I've been thinking about going back to painting full time. Anyway, enough about me. Tell me what's up with you. Love, Linda. I only met Rick once at a family reunion that must have been, what, 15 years ago? Turns out he made his fortune by, get this, selling high-end pipes. The Sherlock Holmes kind, not the plumbing kind. He must have been a hell of an interesting guy. I mean, he found a niche and made his way in the world. You have to respect that. It makes me wonder, am I giving everything I have to this book or am I leaving myself an out? It isn't announced yet. I could always pull the plug. I'd never get another advance again, sure, but there isn't a gun to my head. Unless I put one there. Metaphorically, of course. This is so sad. You kind of... Because the fact that he is... Putting sort of his entire hope on this career as making it as a novelist. And then you see... Which is kind of his own thing, I suppose. And then you see kind of someone else in the world founding his own thing as he mentioned in the letter he found a niche niche and made his way in the world which is kind of he found it what he wanted to do and succeed and succeeded at it and he exactly as he says in the letter you have to respect that and then he starts wondering about himself whether he 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 has to if he wants to give it his all or just try at it and even if he doesn't succeed he, he can like kind of push it away and then Ah, oh, didn't matter, at least I kind of tried, but he's not giving his, his all, it seems. 
and th there you kind of have to make the decision whether you want to just fully commit to it go for this new book new new novel which i actually did it in the first chapter so yeah that that brings a lot of interesting things to think about uh, and to keep in mind for uh for at least for from dan's side there's nothing over here oh there's a letter can you take tommy out today maybe to the beach I think you could both use some fresh air. I have to be in town by noon and I probably won't be back till 4. Lin. Duh. Um, yeah, we need to find out what's... But. Take Tommy to see the new James Bond. The Literary Register May Edition. Inside, the Books of Summer, Adam Squires, what kind of last name is that? Squires, The Interview, America's Top Small Run Publishers. Am I holding, what am I holding back? Oh my god, I hope he doesn't turn around. <laughs> Dan, I looked into it and the guy at the Literary Register said that the pre-release ads to do drive up pre-orders quite a bit and it's his job to sell ads of course so we have to take it to take that with a grain of salt I usually leave this kind of thing to the guys in the marketing department so I'm a little out of my depth here but I checked with them and they said the same thing so it seems like the ads would make sense if the book is good enough you don't want to oversell and under deliver I have to say this is the first time I've had a writer off offered to pay extra to pay for extra marketing you sure about it? There aren't any refunds if the book tanks. You've got some drive though. Coming up with an idea like this, I'll give you that. Think about it and let me know. Ooh. Spend three paragraphs describing the weather. <laughs> wow, that must be one interesting book. But it seems like... Bring my kite to the camp mommy told me about. That's what he wants. I still need to find out his memory. I guess this, this gives me the opportunity. Explore memory. Writer's block turned into writer's fog or something like that. I never found my notebook. I guess it's just gone. Did we lose it in the move? Leave it at home? I ended up having Alice find out about Scott and Sarah by overhearing a phone call. It was awful. Having Alice eavesdrop on them completely kills the sympathy I've been trying to build for her. What a junk solution. But I had to get something down and move on. I guess that was it. Hopefully I can come back and fix it later. That's not what Alice did. Oh my god. Tommy's room. Oh, here they are. Don't joke like that. And when I finish my book in December, I... Don't joke like that. Does that mean that she thinks he's rushing the book then if he's done by December? I don't know what a good time or a time frame is for finishing a book. But December when it's like I guess June or July it's definitely summer. Or maybe perhaps even early August but that seems like quite a quick time to finish a book though. Would they let me? Send Paul an example from the literary register. Um, read her thoughts. Where's Linda? Linda, Linda, Linda. Throw some gear in the painter bag and take it to the co-op. So, let's see. I feel like I definitely have to push Dan's book forward. But Linda wants to take painting up again full time 
feel like the kid. I don't know. I don't want to neglect the kid, but. Bring my kite to that camp mommy told me about. I think I'm just gonna do. Dan again, or, or at least Dan, and then make up with Linda again. I feel like she should definitely deserve to go after her her dreams, which is, I believe, coming a becoming a painter, and she's kind of pursuing that, but she wants to go at it full time. And as a, I guess, as a good husband, you would give her at least the space and opportunity for her to pursue that, especially when you're kind of doing the same thing with your own book. But here it's kind of, do you put your own needs in front of hers? I guess as a person, as myself, I wouldn't. I would definitely put her up front first. But then I have to do the, the makeup thingy with Dan himself and then the painter back. I guess that's what we'll do. And Tommy has sadly has to suffer from this. But I feel like he got to play with him last time. So it's not like I can say like oh he has nothing to complain about, but I feel like this is even every situation is like there's at least one bad situation, but this this one for Tommy at least seems the least worse if you if you decide to neglect one of these three. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I like the that a lot, man. Painter bag. Oh, he's painting. Racing Roger was so much fun. I won. This must be the painter bag. Selecting the bag will choose Rin Linda's resolution. Dan and Tommy will be disappointed, huh? This is just option being a good husband i guess that's what will will be the best husband we can be <sighs> probably sleep again press tap to fuel alternative um, compromises um, send the literary R uh, register I'm sorry Tommy mommy does too kind of look his face kind of looks like a monkey though <laughs> poor Tommy I don't want to make fun of you show my toys to who I mean, he had a lot of fun playing the the racing game. He even get to win, you know. As as a dad, I would be like, I would beat the shit out of him. No, I'm joking. In the game, of course, not 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 anything else. Maybe for Tommy, so much to learn. Where was the literary register? It was in his. I think it was here. Selecting the magazines will choose Don Dan's compromise for this chapter. I'm sorry Tommy, but this is what we'll have to do. And then we'll have to whisper it into... What's this? Read. From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 19th, 1948. I failed to log my activities yesterday as nothing of note occurred. There have been no tricks of the light for two days and I've grown certain that the ones I saw were reflections from the ocean improbably reaching the house. I've been able to focus on the task and hand an AM am suitable oh and am suitable please with the condition of the property. I've also reached the decision on how to proceed. It came to me this morning as I stood in the con conservatory admiring the beauty of the forest. I hadn't begun my work yet, and I was thinking of nothing in particular, when an idea came into my head fully formed. I was surprised that it appeared with such clarity, but it's not unheard of for the mind to ponder a question in the subconsciousness. As for the idea, it is quite simple. simple. I will build the house myself. 
there anything more? I don't think there's anything else. We'll check downstairs. Nothing on the table. Oh, there's something on the table here. Um, January 17th. Was the other one 19 or 16? I don't remember now. I'm now certain there's something strange with the light here. It must be those windows. I was reviewing old deeds in the living area and saw some sort of flash of light out of the corner of my eye. I would assume the elevation would put the ocean too far away for the sun to reflect off a wave, but perhaps not. I looked, but there was nothing there except a strange shimmer, like heat above the asphalt of a hot road. It dissipated almost immediately. Perhaps some concentration of the light caused it. But on to work. I've begun cataloging possible options for the property. One, oh, I owe Mr. Lowley a report by the 24th. These notes are kind of like about the about the house itself. I think I don't think it, the 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 current date is like 1948 at the moment. Definitely doesn't seem like it. With TVs and everything, hell no. So these are like, I believe they're, they're only, you can only find them during when they're asleep though. I don't know if they, if it's something that Dan actually is reading about as well, just the history of this house or something. Other houses anywhere, he really needs to find someone to play with. That would kind of solve a lot of, but I guess that would be an easy out for Tommy at least. But if he has like someone else to play, then you can constantly focus on Dan himself as well as Linda. But then you would not really be neglecting him, but yeah. It would be too easy, I suppose. Because then it doesn't feel so much as you're disappointing the son because he has someone else to play with. Make it the whole summer. Let's whisper. Why is she Linda was thrilled when Don told her about the inheritance money and offered to use it for the co-op instead of promoting his book. She started working two days a week in town, and it was it is all she hoped it would be. She made friends with the new local painters and learned new techniques from them, and simply being around creative people each week did her the most good. I tried to read that really fast. Dan knew that some sort of public expectation would drive him to improve the book, so he asked Paul to submit the book to the literary register's up next column. A quarterly list of upcoming novels. It wouldn't raise awareness like an ad, but it would make the book real in a way he couldn't back away from. Poor Tommy. Tommy didn't know much about the camp he'd heard his parents talking about. But he understood enough to know that there were other kids there to play with. He didn't understand why he couldn't go and show his kite to the other children. The toy became a reminder of his isolation more than source of joy. Ah, oh, poor Tommy. He wanted to go to this camp badly. 